Hi everyone, welcome to the first edition of Frequently Asked Fridays, a series where we answer prospective students' questions. My name is Ryan and I'm a Lick Warmerding Admissions Intern. And today the question will be, why did you choose Lick? And this is my guest today. Oh, I'm Josiah Densby. I'm a senior and I'm a leader of a couple clubs at Lick. I lead BSU, Black Student Union. I'm one of the leaders of BANG, which is a student activism club. Um, I'm a leader of AIF, which is a club for men of color on campus, and a leader of WIS, which is a club for students who practice faith. And then I've also been on one of the basketball teams, the baseball team, and um, I've done wrestling. Awesome. And just to reiterate, today's question will be, why did you choose Lick, Josiah? I chose Lick, I always like to say, because my mom told me to, not just my reflexive answer, but it's like deeper than that. Um, I came I came from a, a middle school that was predominantly black and brown. It was low income, but they always uh, like reiterated that we, we could like attain that success and stuff. And going into high school, I wanted to be more challenged than I was in middle school. And I knew if I just kept on going the regular track, I would just kind of coast and it wouldn't be as satisfying. And Lex definitely offered that. And I know for a lot of students, like um, a big focus for them might be like what their school looks like and stuff. But I didn't really worry about like how my school looked. I just um, support academically and um, socially and virtually. Um, just for a place where I wanted. Whenever I went to look, I knew that it was a place where I could grow definitely, but also socially in terms of just like understanding the world around me and being presented with different ideas. Yeah, so that's why I chose like Ryan, why did you choose Lick? Um, I would say I chose Lick just because of the, honestly, the vibe that I got. Um, it was a place much different from my middle school. I came from a very small parochial school in um, San Mateo. Um, and just coming to Lick, where people you know, had a lot of different um, ways of thinking and it was just an overall different um, kind of curriculum, just different people were there. I thought that that was something that I wanted to experience in high school. Um, and one thing that always comes to mind too is just like the inclusiveness of the community. I know when I went to open houses, um, I just saw all the student volunteers and how welcome they made me feel as well as the faculty that were there. Um, and one experience specifically that stands out in my mind about why I think Lick is so inclusive. Um, so I missed Frosh orientation you know, which is supposed to be a mandatory event um, right before my entrance into frosh year. And I was pretty nervous that I missed it because everyone, you know, was able to meet each other. And I thought everyone had already, you know, made their bonds and, uh, you know, established friendships and cliques and stuff like that. But um, I was happy to see that, you know, the first day that I came onto campus, I didn't know anybody, I was singleton. So I was, you know, pretty unbeknown, or it was just an unknown um, setting that I was entering into. And I was just glad to see that I was, op uh, you know, accepted with open arms. Um, you know, I didn't really know where to go for my classes. So I walked into an upperclassman's um, classroom and, you know, they helped me find where my class was. And, you know, sit lunch was obviously something that I was really scared of. Like, who was I gonna sit with? I didn't know anybody, but I just sat down on Frosh Hill and started conversating with people, and that was that. I mean, I didn't feel nervous after that day. I had, you know, found out that everyone was super inviting and welcoming, um, and just that I could really fit in anywhere at Lick. There were so many places for me.